You're Riley, aren't you? Kate and I were really close. She talked about you so much. She... She was really proud of you. I guess you've seen some of what she was working on. Come on. We should get out of here. I know a place you can rest a while and... And let's talk. Hey, I hope you got a little sleep. You know, I was thinking, we should head over to the library. You can tell me what happened on the way. God, that's terrifying. I really hope we find some answers in Kate's office. Come on, let's move. Okay, let's see if your aunt's key ring delivers. Listen, there's something out there. It's drawn to the tapes and it's very, very dangerous. Please be careful. I know this is going to sound super paranoid, but after everything that's happened, we need to be careful. We can connect on an encrypted channel with these. You go see what you can find in Kate's office. I'll keep watch outside. I'll call you on the two-way if anything comes up. Amanda, have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, we can. 
At least in our imaginations we can. With my magic train! If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? That sounds like fun. I love to daydream about all the places I could have gone. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? That's much better. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. <sighs> it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or I can smash it! Ah, uh, you're no fun. Count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Our next stop is Mexico City. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. Um... Anyway, that ticket cost three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three! Oh no, that's all our coins! And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? You really think I can get coins for that old thing? What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. That's enough for our last stop. No, 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 go away. Get this weirdo out of here. <laughs> Wow, who the heck was that guy? He was going 
to take my coins. Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. This is fun, I guess, but I wish I really could go see the world. Ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. That's it. Enough for our last stop. Oh, no, no. There's always all kinds of stuff in the sofa cushions. toys. My d told me once that it's always nice to have a fresh start in the morning. Let's see how many toys we have to put away. Can you count them? Which toy should I put away first? Time for 
for bed, Mr. Frog. One, two, three toys to go. Let's put away another one. X marks the spot. Great work. We're on a roll. Which toy should I put away next? We better put him in his home before a hunter shoots his little ears off. One more to go. Let's do it. Boing, boing, boing. That was a lot of work. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. What should I do first? Brush my teeth or wash my face? Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should use? Nice choice. I love red. Now, will you help me find the toothpaste? Is it in the medicine cabinet, the bathtub, or the toilet? How did you get in here? Who even are you? Go away! A little help here, please! That freak tried to eat my toothpaste! That's disgusting! Okay, time to wash my face! Well, I guess I'm all done in here. Time to put on my PJs and hit the sack. Which PJs should I wear tonight? It gets awfully lonely in here at night. It makes me think about what's happening. About things I really don't want to think about. I'm not even sure what's real. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Me. You really think I'm scary? <laughs> Thinking about something you're afraid of can give you nightmares, especially when there's no one around to help you think about nice thoughts. I try to be a big girl and sleep with the lights off, but it makes me feel so alone. What do you think? Should I just turn off the lamp and be a big girl? Or maybe you can find me a nightlight. Back soon. <laughs> Dolly, are you still out there keeping watch? Okay. Good night. Which toy should I put away? Time for bed, Mr. We better... 
That was a lot of work. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. Just checking in. Everything's still pretty quiet out here, but we shouldn't stay too long. Try to find those tapes, okay? Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should use? Nice choice. Me. Please hurry back soon. I'm a big girl who doesn't need a nightlight. I'm a big girl who doesn't need a nightlight. I'm a big girl who doesn't need... Thank you. Good night, Riley. Hi, I'm Amanda. Isn't it nice to be a... And I'm Wooly. celebrating President's Day by playing the national anthem from sunrise to sundown. So hats off and party on. This is huh? <laughs> Hi, I am... No, I don't want you here. Don't you get that? But Amanda, I'm your best friend. My best friend? All you do is get up. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse, so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long... Oh, oh my eyes! Are you oh. trying to blind me? I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? I like those too! Let's get started! The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? Right! 
We'll use the saw to cut the wood. Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Oh, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together with nails. What tool should we use for that? Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy Brandon Ham, sir. For the That's right. We'll use the nail gun to attack the pieces. Stay tuned. This project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience. Come on, you've got this. That's right, patience. That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. I love red. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job. This is going to be so pretty. <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient's thing is going too far. Get him to go away. I'm getting really sick of that guy. Come on, let's paint this birdhouse. Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look! They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. Another activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat hunting the birds. She is being very patient. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. Should we warn them? What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and her family have to eat after all. Wow, Willie, great idea to warn the birds. <laughs> I didn't mean And now nobody's using the birdhouse. We're going to have to sit here all day waiting for them to come back. That's going to take a lot of... Don't say it. Patience! <laughs> to do is cut the length of the wood right will you that's right I lo 
love red. Okay, now. Good job. Huh? Uh. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse, so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Oh, oh my eye. She stalks the Hi, I'm a man. I like those too. Right, will you? That's right. I love red. Good job. <laughs> oh, what a mess! I don't even want to do this anymore! Forget it! Come on, Amanda! How about a little patience? <sighs> Let's get cleaned up and paint this birdhouse! Wow, that looks great! Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look! They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. She stalks them slowly. She's showing a lot of patience. What a good mama cat! I think I'm gonna be sick.
Sam. And I'm Wooly. Today we are playing bandits. Come on, where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break it. <laughs> Wooly, you're a pretty boring bandit. Oh. Bandits hide all kinds of things in the woods. It's fun to go look for treasure. But you should probably tell someone where you'll... Never tell anyone where you're going. They might get to the treasure before you do. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. Which, which direction should we go to find the treasure? I think you're right! Let's go! Oh, I have a good feeling about this! Where should we dig for the treasure? Yes, that marking matches the one on the map! Let's dig! Oh, great! Here we go again! Seriously, who is that guy? A little help here! Thanks for your help! That guy is gonna give me a heart attack. Hmm, maybe I should get him to come back. What? Let's dig! Okay, bandits, let's get to digging! Amanda, I don't have a shovel. Bandits should always come prepared. I guess you'll have to use your hands. Whoa. <laughs> 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 We did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once, but not anymore. <sighs> Come on, Willy. Let's get out of here. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? Are you still up there? Oh. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not done treasure hunting. I really thought we'd find something special and you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Tick tock. Thank you. 